Yeah, that's right. I'm still here. I'm still alive. So if you haven't watched me in a long time or you never watched me before and you never wanted to, but you found yourself clicking on this, smash that subscribe button. That way, if you enjoy the Q&A, you'll let me know. And if you don't enjoy this Q&A, you'll also let me know. But either way, you'll still be here. I appreciate that. Can we help get this channel up to 20,000 subscribers here by the end of the week? Can we do that? Can you guys go start telling people to start watching this channel again? Thank you. I would greatly appreciate that. And thank you to all of you that took to Twitter to ask your questions for this Q&A video. Yep, I ain't changed the background here. I didn't feel like going in loading up all the crap in the other man room. I'm just recording right here the hell with it. So I think you guys will be just fine. So let me go ahead and answer as many of your questions as I feel like I have energy to do. Uh, Volfan0531 is going to kick us off. Assuming Goldberg is WWE champion after the Royal Rumble, who should beat him at Mania? <laughs> Ugh. Could there be any other choice? Ugh. Which means uh, Goldberg's got to play the game uh, in the middle of the ring. Uh, Woohoo! Could you? Could you? Could you? Could you? <laughs> oh God! Would that be glorious? Um, at M Route asked, which diva has Marvelous Mark not had? Uh, great question. He's probably had most, if not all of them. There you go. Um, then he asks, how often do you think Mr. Rout used to jack off to pictures of Christian, uh, daily? And Tony told me it used to be several times daily, kind of creepy and weird in that way. Yeah, that's what you get for introducing what your question was, your fraudulent question, your stupid question, gets thrown right back at you. He used to sit there and fantasize about Christian and <laughs> uh, MC17 Clark, opinion of Gino Hernandez. And do you think he actually died of a coke overdose or was he murdered like a lot of people think he was? Um, like Gino so long ago, I never really got the chance to watch him. It's a shame because he was struck down really before he'd even reached the peak of the heights of what he could do in wrestling. Um, the cocaine overdose could have been a murder. You know, it's interesting because on the one hand, you just don't want to be a crazy person that finds conspiracies in everything. And sometimes death doesn't make sense. Like things that happen just don't make sense. And you want to try and rationalize an irrational thing. But um, certainly possible. Also, how are Panda and Snow Cone? They're doing good. I'm sure at some point in time soon, I'll find a way to get them on camera just for you. See here, Mean Ma Master Camp. Hey, hey, long time follower, indeed. What does WWE need to do in 2021 to get better again? I hated last week's Raw and SmackDown. The writing was bad. Last week's SmackDown? Are you talking about from Friday the 8th? Now, you've been a long time follower, Matt. And... I can't believe you would speak ill about a show so strongly and prominently featuring our tribal chief. But every once in a while, we lose our way, and I understand that. Uh, but you, you should be, you used to be, didn't you used to be the Off the Rope Show number one fan for one week? Like, that's not something that a former award winner like that would do. Uh, as far as what WWE needs to do in 2021 to get better again, Far more things than I could address in this time here. It's probably its own separate video or video series. Hmm. Andreas underscore Byron. What are your thoughts on the invasion angle that happened at the Capitol? But like, oh, come on. <laughs> the invasion angle. That was booked just about as shitty as the one in 2001, wasn't it? <laughs> people are so dumb. <laughs> Especially what type of people? White people. Caucasians. <laughs> oh my god, I'm oppressed. <laughs> no. 
it, it just as a general rule, like, do not allow yourself to be sucked into a cult of personality for any of these politicians. Like if it's a Trump or a Bernie or an AOC, it's dangerous and really not healthy for you. Stop it. These people do not care for you like that. Do not be pawns for them. Period. <laughs> Bad. Um, at the Mark A. Johnson ask, are we going to get on a Zoom chat anytime soon with the rest of the group? Hmm. Oh. Sounds like a marvelous idea. Nah. Maybe. At uh, the underscore Titantron, is there anything WWE to do to save Retribution at this point? No. No. They're dead. Dumb. Dead. Dumb dead. Jack asks, how many nuts would Dave Meltzer bust if Okada versus Omega versus Daniel Bryan happened in the Tokyo Dome? <laughs> oh, 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 oh my God. Ooh. Okada versus Omega versus Daniel Bryan and that happened in the Tokyo Dome. That dude would never have to bust another nut the rest of his life. He couldn't because he would rub himself so raw. Like I literally would be fit, worried about his physical health at that point because he might rub himself to death. And I'm not joking. He might literally jack himself off into the grave. And for him, maybe that would be the ideal way to go. Let's see here. At Andreas underscore Byron, what is the home environment like with you and Marcus Smart? Uh, since you're happy with Roman Reigns being champion and babyface, that's right, that's right, champion and babyface, and Marcus Smart is happy with Kenny Omega being AEW and AAA champ, is there a lot of chaos over who is better, or is everybody happy for everybody? Um, he doesn't live here, <laughs> that'd just be weird. He does not live in the parameters of this actual domicile. I cannot help if he camps out in the woods and crashes in here, lives in the back in the shed. He does not live in this house. This house is just fine with Roman Reigns, that's for sure. At Nebuch Sid, if Vince bought AEW, how quickly should they do a Roman versus Luchasaurus babyface versus babyface match? And how soon after would they screw up uh, the Luchasaurus gimmick? The second one, they would screw up almost immediately. The first one, they should do that immediately. Joseph Moran, can you please do a review of Night of Champions 2011? Uh... Yeah. You know, that's one of those ones. That's a great question. Because obviously years and years ago it was reviewed on the channel and everything. But, uh, you know, there's also a piece of that. It's like going back and reviewing it now, like in, in 2021, I certainly would not rule that out as like a 10-year anniversary thing. But it's just not the same. You know? You damn right. It's just not the same and it, it would just feel really awkward and weird so um i might but we'll see we'll see as we get closer to september um alex asks what are your thoughts on wrestlers that aren't talented enough to get over a draw properly in one count company that would then surprisingly su succeed on another company is it his or her fault or creative it could be both could be creative, comes up with crappy stuff for them. It could be that they couldn't figure out how to make the creative work for them. It could be either one of that. Um, as far as not talented enough to get over a draw properly in one company, sometimes it's about the circumstance, the situation, the opportunity. Sometimes it's about the chemistry. Like, there's so many things at play. So many things at play. Um, let's see here. Sean Carter. Here's the guy. Huh. Would you ever consider doing a series of videos for top five goats from each era? Ah. Maybe. Maybe. B.W. Rosas, how much closer is Cody to founder status to really get under your skin like it did? See, that is the proper way to phrase a question. 
Um, also, did you see or hear of Ali's work shoot pipe bomb? He dropped down raw talk this past Monday to the second part. Yes, I did. And I don't see what was so spectacular for that compared to any other number of work shoot promos that you see. Like doing work shoot promos are easy. They really are. I don't think those take a ton of talent. The ones where you can do like kayfabe stuff and make it a great promo. That's what really matters. Like, I think it's lazy and I think certainly it appeals to certain demographics of wrestling, excuse me, fans, but that's because I think the inside shit is cool and everything and it's just, it's too many elements of work shoot for me to really give a crap about. Um, as far as Cody being close to the founder status, um, he hasn't brought in a bunch of people that were like former world champions elsewhere just to job to him. He has also not made himself a multiple time world champion. So he's got a long, long ways to go. There are similarities, yes. And there's a piece of me that deep down wishes he would go all the way because the AEW reviews would certainly be a lot more fun if he did. But I also can't sit there right now and say that he's doing that. That would just be unfair. Also, why do you crack up about Dino being Swiss cheese? Why would you not? The dude got shot to death in his house because he was part of a cigarette smuggling ring. What is not funny about that? You've been watching for almost a decade now, sir. You gotta know better than that by now. That's funny. Come on. <laughs> uh, at Callum Burgess 14, what's the most cringe storyline in WWE history? The Katie Vick crap was pretty bad. Um, I don't know if that's the worst. The Terry Runnels uh, miscarriage stuff was really bad. Um, Katie Vick was really, really bad, though. <laughs> May Young giving birth to a hand. <laughs> Mid Carter J, tea or coffee? Neither. I don't drink either one of them. Digital Dread. So you have to push one to the moon. You have Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> Fuck Dolph Ziggler. And Cody Rose is the last three in your Royal Rumble match. Who wins and why do they main event WrestleMania? You guys live for these questions, don't you? If I have to push one to the moon, I said Jeff Jarrett to the moon, so that way he freaking go away and never come back. There. That's how you worded that question. You said I have to push one to the moon. I said I would push the founder, the Memphis mid-card piece of crap, for 10,000 guitars, never drew a damn dime. Jeff fucking Jarrett! Straight to the moon, that way I never have to see him again. It's your fault, the way you worded the question. Mr. Jinx, since Triple H is in the breakfast club, what is his favorite breakfast food? Ooh. See, but the breakfast club is not really about eating breakfast. It's about having a social hour. He's probably a bagel guy. Could be a bacon and eggs guy. Could be. Justin Moran, are you glad that John Moxley was able to get his shit, into, shit together in AEW in 2020? Yeah, I thought he did decent work. Well, good for him. Good for him. Horror Movie Review 73, did you like the Kane and Shane McMahon feud in 2003? Jog my memory, is that when uh, we were zapping people in the testicles? Electrocuting their testicles? No, I really didn't. Um, Project Avant, who is the most underrated wrestler working today? Um, I'll go safe here because I think he's underrated by his own company and that's Cesaro. When I look at some of the people that WWE's had as their champion, you can't tell me Cesaro's any worse. At least Cesaro you can take somewhat seriously. At least Cesaro does some shit that looks really good. At least Cesaro does some stuff that is impact and powerful. At least Cesaro is a guy that I think could effectively work well with people his size, people bigger than him, and people smaller or much smaller than him. And so I think he is uh, underrated. Uh, Joel underscore Wayne, when will we see the Schleg Daddy pop up at the Thunderdome? You won't. I have zero interest in doing that. For other people that didn't want to do that, that's perfectly fine. They can experience the show the way they want to. I just have no interest in doing it. None. Um, so I'm not going to. 
Apoor Shankar, as of now, what would be your WWE and Universal Championship main events at WrestleMania 37? Um, Daniel Bryan versus Roman Reigns would be one. And then... <laughs> Triple H versus Goldberg would be the other one. No. Um, <laughs> uh, I guess... McIntyre versus Goldberg might be the other one. Sorry, guys. It's a little late, so forgive me for yawning on you. Uh, Son Goshuaku. Based on their in-ring and promo work over the past seven years, what is your ranking of Sasha, Becky, Bailey, and Charlotte from least to best? Um, Sasha, one. Bailey, two. Becky, three. Charlotte in 565th position. That bitch sucks, and I resent you guys sitting there and trying to push her like she's a star. She's terrible. Uh, Keys 10, when do you expect the Seth versus Tribal Chief story? That's a, that's a, that's a curveball that they could potentially throw here. Um, but probably post WrestleMania. Um, John Cena feuds that I actually enjoyed. Oh, Probably some of the ones early in his career with like Kurt Angle and Taker and Jericho and yeah, I guess mostly early career type of stuff. Big Show, yeah, definitely. Um, Rosario twenty four. Would a gimmick being a hipster be a good heel gimmick in today's wrestling, or am I grasping at as much straws at the WWE at this point? Like true hipster. I don't know, it would almost be a tweener, and I wonder if it would really get a reaction. You know what I mean? Like a true hipster? You have just as many people that fall into that category as the anti-hipster, so I'm not sure how great that would be. Uh, Jared Orla, how would you book Lance Archer, and who will take the title away from Sheeta and AEW? I cannot answer these how you would book somebody questions in a QA. and a It just takes way too long. As far as who should take, who will take the title away from Sheeta and AEW, I don't know. And frankly, does it matter at this point? You're just going to hot potato the belt to somebody else who have a crappy title reign. So what difference does it make? Um, let's see here. Simshine95, in your, in your gap months off YouTube, what did you miss the most that made you come back every time? I think eventually I would just miss the habit and miss the interaction with people. Miss doing the recording. I would miss it. Yeah, I've been back now, what? Is this almost six months? And we're still going strong. And we're going stronger than ever, I would argue. Clyde Wendell Slater III. With the outstanding heel work that our... The outstanding what work? Let me rephrase it. Clyde, it was a simple mistake that will never happen again. Do we have an understanding? Thank you. With the outstanding babyface work that our tribal chief Roman Reigns is doing, in your opinion, what wrestler comes to mind that have made the smooth transition to great babyface work? See? And don't hit me with that heel stuff. That's lie. All lies. Lies. And I don't even know if we can answer that question at this point because the whole premise and framing of your question is off. Hmm. Thank you. Bye. Dylan Schwartz. Seems like we, between AEW and SmackDown from the summer till now, you've enjoyed wrestling more than you have in quite a while. Am I correct? And do you ever watch Talking Smack? I think you've enjoyed the character development and work of the special counsel. I have caught bits and pieces of Talking Smack over the past few months, but I do not watch entire episodes, typically, no. Um, have I enjoyed wrestling more than I have in quite a while? Um, in some ways, yes. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. Oh, if he didn't have the Tribal Chief on SmackDown, I'm not sure how true that would be, but we do. And I think part of that is, is I have tried to find ways to find enjoyment and entertainment out of these shows. I'm also not watching Raw. That's a big impact. That's a big factor there. Uh, Jake the Surgeon, why, why has the WWE snubbed our tribal chief out of new music, music befitting his new face term? That is an excellent, excellent question. I don't know why they haven't. 
Like, if he's going to be the tribal chief and the head of the table, he needs some type of music that is either tribal chief sounding or head of the table sounding. And the old big dog shield Roman Reigns music is not it. Um, Trent Gaspard, greatest moment in wrestling history. Sid sacrificing his life for the business or Dino Bravo being shot up by the Marlboro Mafia? Yes. Both tremendous and fantastic. You could also throw in there Scott Steiner versus Math. Um, wrestling rants. How much different could the business have been the last 15 years if Guerrero never died and Benoit never did what he did? Who the hell knows? I'm, so, I'm sure I've answered this question before. I mean, I don't know how much different it would be. Maybe a little different, but I don't know how much. Um, Christian Mingle, who did it better? Ray Mysterio in the locker room doing pull-ups, Sim Carr <laughs> jumping over the rope, or Sid's big boot? <laughs> when, you're, when your question is anything, option A, option B, and Sid, you're facing a deficit from the very beginning. So you got to go with Sid's big boot. DeMarcus Flowers, what was your... What were your thoughts on Shinsuke's performance in the Gauntlet match this past back down? The start of a new renewed push or just some random fluke they won't follow up on? Boy, when you're talking about WWE, it sure is house money, smart money to take the second option, isn't it? Isn't it? I can't really see where it means a whole hell of a lot. They maybe just threw a freaking bone to him. Uh, does anybody know if Shinsuke's contract is coming up soon and maybe they were using that a bit of as, a, as a negotiation ploy? Could be a thought. I'd be stunned if it means much, though. I really would be. Uh, WSC stage creator. Who do you think will win the Royal Rumble for the men this year? I think early money might say Daniel Bryan. Uh, At the Hobbit Kai. Uh, Would you like to see a feud between the Hurt Business and Roman Reigns group? Add members accordingly like Naomi and Jimmy. Um, Hmm. No. Nah. Let them both do their own thing, honestly. Trent Gaspard, who's the go to kiss their son on the lips? Titus O'Neil or Tom Brady. Pass. Weston Flores. What are your thoughts on everything that's happened with riots on the Capitol? What grade would you give Trump's reign as president? Oh, God. The grade for Trump's president is he's not the worst ever, okay? He is not. He's not even close to the worst. He's bad. He's he's stupid. And I don't get why people worship that man so much. He does not give a fuck about you. He is a walking contradiction and mountain of bullshit. Like, I go on and on and on. Um, but as far as the stuff about the riots at the Capitol, like, I hate to even express an opinion, really. Like, I could go in too much on it, and I just don't want to. I don't want to be bothered with it. That's a horrible thing to say, but it's true. There's enough toxicity in this world right now for me and where I'm at in life and what I'm trying to be about and where I'm trying to go and what I'm trying to get done. I'd rather not pay attention to some of that shit sometimes, frankly. I know it's hard to, sometimes it's borderline impossible. It's really not healthy to get so caught up in it all the time. So I just really don't think about it. EJ Dennis 96, what were your thoughts on Sid pooping his pants at Mania 13? <laughs> this shit's about to go down. <laughs> I wonder if the shit was softball size. <laughs> Stephen Penafiel, I don't know what this question is going to say. It's WrestleMania 37. Roman Reigns is in the main event defending the title. Out comes from the wrestling time machine, none other than Super Cena from 2010. Does the Tribal Chief have a chance at victory? Or is this LOL Cena wins bitches? Now that's a Breakfast Club bullshit. They've got a time machine. Um, the Tribal Chief is going to smash him. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. Who has more holes, a golf course Swiss cheese, the moon, or Dino Bravo's head? <laughs> Dino Bravo. <laughs> Dallas Croyer. Would you say Sid Vicious is the best heel turn in professional wrestling history? <laughs> Who was more over, Dino Bravo or the chair he died in? And who sold the death better, the chair? <laughs> in both cases. 
FCC Titans fan. What's your Jeff Jarrett match? Fuck you. <laughs> that was my favorite Jeff Jarrett match. <laughs> a tribal believer. Who would Dave Melter F marry or kill? Kenny Omega, the Bucks, a sucker, Okada. Um, <laughs> he's pro oh, God dang. That's a good one. I think he would f fuck Okada. Marry the Bucks of Suck and kill Kenny Omega. And you'd say, why Kenny Omega? Because the Bucks of Suck, he can marry him and he get both of them at the same time. Um, American Dream Runny Nose. F. Mary Kill Pizza Edition. Pizza Papa John's Domino's. Uh, F. Domino's. Mary Pizza. Kill Papa John's. That shit's nasty. Winston Smith, who would make up your Frankenstein WWE diva, like in terms of face, upper body, ass, legs, personality. Um, yeah, so you're basically asking me here, like if I had to construct like the perfect uh, old woman, like what would I do? I'd go to AEW and bring in Jade Cargill. That's for me, all right? Leave me alone. Jack Harper Games 90. Would you still say Bullet Club, the OC, are still ripoffs given NWO members are, such as Hall and Nash have given the clubs their best thing and using their, ta their taunts and mantra? Yeah. You can get the blessing and still be a ripoff. You can still be a ripoff. You can still be a copy. Just because somebody gave you a blessing doesn't change that fact. Uh, little DJ Boy or Seth Rollins, the Tribal Chief, Daniel Bryan, and AJ Styles, the next generation of the Breakfast Club? Uh, no. No, 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 no. Not even close. Isaiah Goat, 52. In years where wrestling started having a decline, like 06 and 07, certainly did. Did you still see yourself consistently watching wrestling a decade later? Sure the hell not. I thought I was going to be long since done with it, would never watch it again, but might come back and watch like a Royal Rumble or WrestleMania every year and just to just see what the hell's going on. That would be it. I did not think I would still be watching it. Uh, George, close this out by asking, can you review Armageddon 2008 since it has the most votes from the December poll that you did, but you went within your house, you troll. Number one, I'm not a troll. Number two, yes, I am a troll. Number three, Armageddon 2008. I guess you'll have to wait until next December to get that, won't you? That's what you get. That's what you get. That's what you get. That's what you get. Yeah. So anyways, thanks you guys for all your questions for this Q&A. I hope you had fun. I kind of did. Obviously, I was tired, but we made it through. Thank you guys again. Smash the subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter. Thank you guys. I'm out.